uh, Alexei Alexandrovich, thank you for the welcome words. We um, welcome you from the sunny Ognensk. This is uh, the research city. Before I uh, um, touch upon my topic, uh, liver embolization, the statistics comes first. These are uh, table cuts uh, uh, from uh, oncological service. Uh, so uh, the weight uh, of um, um, tumors uh, in uh, liver uh, across uh, different stages from one to three uh, has uh, the, um, sh uh, the sharp increase uh, as well as uh, the uh, spread uh, of um, malignant tumors. Uh, the uh, morbidity, uh, uh, actually the mortality throughout the year since uh, the diagnosis uh, stays the same. We see that uh, diagnostics is um, um, one of the reasons because we can diagnose uh, cancer earlier. Patients uh, frequently approach doctors for help and now we have the development of uh, treatment options. The same trend is observed globally. Globally, the statistics show uh, uh, globally um, from um, Europe to Asia, uh, the incident rate incidence rate goes up uh, as well. Uh, however, the uh, mortality stays at the same level. Clinical guidelines, but by different professional association, for example, ESMA. As small clinical guidelines, they looked uh, a bit bleak and had only four lines uh, covering our subject. Uh, starting 2018, we see more bright colors, uh, nicely arranged uh, uh, schemas. Um, we see the need to classify treatment options uh, through uh, pictures. Uh, one of uh, uh, the options is radio embolization. In 2018, it became part across all uh, um, clinical guidelines, including uh, Russian national guidelines. Uh, how come that this method, uh, or I would rather call it a technique, which is quite complicated in logistical terms, it requires cooperation uh, from many segments uh, just in one uh, uh, operation. How come that this uh, technique uh, has developed so rapidly globally? It all started in 19, late 1950s, early 1960s, uh, when uh, um, distant uh, radiotherapy started uh, to be uh, explored and um, external uh, radiation. Uh, uh, the risk uh, of uh, radio hepatitis uh, increased at a uh, uh, dose uh, of 30 grays, uh, which is insufficient uh, uh, to actually damage the tumor. So uh, local methods um, were in great demand and the research started. The first uh, article uh, in the academic world about uh, the local uh, anti-tumor radio isotope, uh, Itrium-90. Um, it's in Japanese. In uh, 1964, this is the date uh, when radio embolization as a method uh, started uh, to be explored. And since then, many articles uh, uh, saw uh, their publications uh, um, up to 2004, which became a crucial year when FDA in the USA uh, sanctions the use of uh, glass uh, microspheres uh, 90Y, uh, and uh, they were joined by Canada uh, to treat uh, hepato hepatocellular um, cancer and metastasic of uh, colorectal cancer into liver. Currently, globally, there are three main manufacturers, Boston Scientific. Uh, they manufacture uh, therospheres uh, of glass, uh, cirrospheres. Um, uh, they produce uh, cirrospheres and uh, quirams. Uh, they manufacture uh, a different uh, spheres with a different uh, radio nucleate, 166. As you see on the slide, Currently, there are 
uh, lots of uh, clinical trials. In total, 92 published. Uh, we have only seven published studies with their outcomes. 32 studies are not uh, um, have not yet started. They are in the planning phase. So the, there is a huge research associated with the radio embolization methodology, which is, in fact, a mainstream technique. Another important uh, uh, thing happened March this year when FDA uh, gave a green light for the use of uh, therospheres at all uh, hepatocellular uh, cal um, cancer. And the method currently can be used uh, at the BCLCA stage and, and at LC. The map uh, of 2016 years shows centers in Europe which uh, deliver radioembolization in the liver. Each country has between one to ten certified centers to uh, deliver liver radioembolization. The three manufacturers which uh, uh, you saw on the screen a bit earlier, there is an official official data that many annually uh, they uh, manu manufacture up to 33,000 uh, of uh, individual doses covering the need uh, globally in the US, uh, Europe, and Asia. In Russia, in post-Soviet uh, states, there are no centers, and Russia is not even on the map. However, um, in 2009, uh, 2009 uh, the Russian uh, radio embolization history started uh, in the research center uh, for oncology named after Blochin, the first uh, application of uh, glass microspheres. Um, yttrium 90 uh, was uh, delivered. However, it happened uh, but never developed due to a number of reasons. But since uh, 2011, uh, one company had a registration for the uh, a license for application of um, microspheres uh, with uh, a room, uh, regardless of uh, the license. Uh, none radio uh, of radio embolizations were delivered. Uh, but the team uh, headed by Coprin was not satisfied uh, with the situation and together with Bibic uh, in 2019, um, domestic manufacturing of um, microspheres uh, was started with um, uh, Itrum 90 and April uh, 2019 was the uh, time when the first patient received radio embolization. Everyone is interested in the outcomes. Here they are. Um, uh, as you see, the patient has a huge hepatocellular carcinoma, which covers the entire right side of the liver. Three um, courses of um, hepatic arterial chemoembolization. There were angiographical data and CT, and then it was decided to do uh, two courses simultaneously of radio embolization. Initially, microspheres uh, uh, were delivered through the right um, liver artery, and you see uh, the uh, level of uh, establishment for near um, angion angionesis. Um, then uh, bypassing was done. Uh, um, after the first course, we see that uh, density and size uh, has changed, had changed uh, for the tumor. Uh, three months after, through the left uh, liver artery, uh, radio embol embolization ca happened in the middle, medium si uh, site uh, of uh, the liver. And this is uh, after 31 months uh, since the treatment began. Be uh, began. A patient is still alive, uh, works, uh, and she, he has a, a TM1 stage uh, now. Another interesting case, uh, patient of 74, hepatocellular cancer, which covers the entire left lobe, uh, the uh, segment 2 and 3. Uh, at the same time, he has chronic uh, hepatitis C. 
microspheres uh, were delivered uh, through the left uh, liver artery and they are localized within the tumor and this is the outcome 18 months after radioembolization we see a, a complete response uh, uh, the radiation uh, B segmentation um, the third case uh, uh, done in 2019 as we see the focus uh, in the right lobe uh, um, we, with liver cirrhosis uh, uh, of uh, um, virus induction we um, see uh, though the vein was difficult uh, but we were able uh, to fix uh, f uh, spheres within the tumor three months after there is a very pronounced response just this area in a uh, uh, liver parenchyma then three months after that uh, a atypic uh, liver resection was delivered and morphological studies shows no tumor CT uh, shows uh, the CT uh, 18 months after the um, surgery no recurrence as you see even initial results of ours showed that we may ask for the health care assistance and uh, we received a positive response uh, where with the approved uh, clinical guidance uh, protocol uh, with the use of radio um, nucleid yttrium 90 in uh, uh, microspheres and uh, we just this year already delivered uh, te 10 uh, um, radio embolizations uh, using the guidelines uh, with positive outcomes of course uh, our team uh, has uh, bigger aspirations uh, and uh, we start uh, we started the research of absolutely new albumin uh, microspheres uh, and we have high hopes for them to wrap up uh, of course radioembolization it's something new it is in the mainstream and it will stay uh, with us for quite a long it is modern it has a high potential we uh, saw its efficiency however let me highlight that without uniting our efforts uh, we will not succeed it is impossible to deliver this technique uh, we thank everyone who take part in developing radio embolization technique in our country and we welcome you from Ogninsk. Thank you.